All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at an interesting trap card here. If it was real, I definitely think it would be played. This is Dispel Exorcism. The art is pretty nice. This looks like it, it would be a nice ultra rare. It looks nice and ultra rare. Uh, from the lettering, I don't know. It looks kind of grayish, but it might be gold. But yeah, the card art, perfect. Ultra rare. So it is a normal trap card that reads, when your opponent activates a spell slash trap, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, Negate the activation, and if you do, banish it. And all cards your all cards your opponent's deck. I think they meant to put all cards in your opponent's deck with the same name as the activated card. You may only activate one dispel exorcism per turn. You're like, yeah, that's super good, super super good. So one of the things that's uh, that's really big when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh is negating spells and traps. When it comes to negating spells and traps, uh, yeah, it's, it's not it's not the greatest. Uh, uh, things to pull off. It's kind of difficult. It really is. So for this card to be able to do that, that's pretty good. I mean, of course, so the card that we, we can compare to is Dark Bribe. And with Dark Bribe, it's a counter trap instead of only a, a, a normal trap, which of course is faster. But with it being a counter trap, that means that it can negate other uh, counter traps. This cannot negate counter traps. Obviously, it's only a normal uh, trap card. Therefore, if your opponent tries to hit you with Psalm Strike, you cannot chain this. Like, it's not going to work, you know? But, uh, let's say, for example, we're just going to negate a trap that both can negate. Let's say, all right, Call of the Haunted, all right? Dark Bribe. I negate your Call of the Haunted. While you do get your Call of the Haunted negate, it's gone, you get to draw a card. And, of course, never let your opponent draw. And while it sucks to, you know, have cards that are really good, you know, like Dark Bribe and, you know, Grand Order Heaven, these cards are actually really good at their job. It's just, they allow your opponent to draw. Never let your opponent draw. You know, if I, if I want to stop you from going from doing something, I want you to neck. You know, I'm the one taking the neck. You usually, you know, when I negate something, we even out. You know, for example, if this card, if I were to play this card and stop your call of the haunted, I would lose one card. You would lose one card. Yeah, you know? so we would even out. But with the art bribe, I play it. I lose one card, but you lose one card and gain one card from the draw, that means you even out. I necked one and, you know, you feel it's a game of resources that time. You're always comparing your opponent's resources to your resources and uh, hopefully that spell or trap was worth negating and hopefully they don't, you know, draw into it again because that's actually happened a time. This on the other hand, uh, when a spell or trap is activated, you send the two, top two cards of your deck to the graveyard. That's not even an egg. That's not even resources. Cards from your deck going somewhere that that doesn't count obviously look at pot of cupidity while well, some people are saying it's bad because you're banishing the top 10 cards of your deck uh some people are like and it's a really great card because you're not concerned about your deck your deck is just who cares you know you're thinking of the here and now you know what cards do i have in my hand what cards do i have in my field what cards do my opponent have right here in the here and now so the question is will you go ahead and use this resource of your deck banish top 10 to draw and essentially get a pot of greed to plus one clearly in the lcg Seems like yes, sir, and uh, card uh, uh, card of desires is coming out here in secret rare, so we'll see uh, the influence here. That could easily see that card being like a 50, 60 card, <laughs> you know, 50 dollar card. But uh, anyway, this card is pretty much in the same boat. So not only are you sending the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, but you know we have some decks that would love to do that. For example, of course, anything Burning Abyss or PK related, they would definitely run this. Let me go ahead and just negate Spell or Trap and send the top two cards of my deck. Oh, there's a Burning Abyss. Oh, there's some PK. So, yep. Uh, I can easily see Cosmos using this too. Uh, especially if, you know, if there's a possibility of Tin Can getting hit, uh, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard to get the monsters to the graveyard and use a revival, you know? So that's a possibility too. And keep on, you are negating a spell or trap. This is power, you know? You're negating that Call of the Haunted. You're negating that, you know, that, uh, uh, that Cosmojo. You're negating, uh, you're, you're, you know, that Prime, that Pantheon. You are negating this card. And not only that, just by sending top two cards to your deck card for deck, to the graveyard, freaking light swarms, you know, uh, it comes to milling in this game, you know, mm -hmm. you know, Inferno Aids, yeah, they'd probably run it too. Uh, <laughs> not only are you negating it, but if you do, you banish it, banish it, you negate the card, you banish it, negate that Pantheism, it's banished, negate that Prime, it's banished, negate that Cosmo Town, it's banished, and all other copies in your opponent's deck. Tell me that's not stupid. Like, what? Not only do you fucking negate my Cosmo Town and banish it, but you banish all my Cosmo Towns? Rip. Rip. GG. Like, <laughs> you negate my Pantheism and banish all copies? You negate my Monarch Stone Force and banish all copies? Like, holy shit, this card is good. 
Like, oh my god. Like, no, 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 no. If this card was real, it would be ran at fucking three. It would be the shit. Like, incredibly overpowered. Like, this is a card Brazil. Yeah, it, it would be, like, staple. It would be, it would be staple. It really would. Because negating spells or traps, that's great. You banish the card, that's great. And you banish all copies, that's great. And of course, can we not forget the fucking pendulum mechanic? Yeah, that activates, that's a spell. So, you activate your pendulum scale. No, send it to two cards in my deck grabber. Banish that pendulum scale, all other copies, gone. Banish all other copies of your sorcerer. Banish all other copies of your uh, guitar turtle, your lizard draw, you know, all of that, you know? So, you know, and God forbid you activate, you know, Keating in your pendulum scale temporarily to pop it with Sky Iris. Nah, we got enchantments. Banish all copies of Keating from your deck. Sky Iris, you want to activate Sky Iris? Nah, negate, nah, banish, banish all Sky Irises. Your terraformings are now useless. Like, wow, you know, like, this would fuck up a lot of people. This card would be amazingly good. Like, amazingly good. Like, whew, whew. So, uh, we actually have one person who uh, replied to the creator of the card, so we're gonna go ahead and read it and said, uh, when your opponent activates spells and traps and top of cards, uh, you have to, okay, that's just uh, correcting. You know, uh, semicolon and colon, all that, you know, because they're sending your top two cards to your deck to grab is a cost. It is a cost, so, uh, you know, if you're playing like shit all or something, you won't get your uh, facts, but Burning Abyss, I mean, they don't give a shit about costs. Uh, since the card negates the activation of the card, it should probably be a counter trap instead of another trap. Holy shit! If it was a counter trap, oh my god! Like it's already it's already fantastic because it's, it's a fucking uh, uh, normal trap. Fucking counter trap, counter fucking trap. Nigga, I can negate solemn judgment. Uh, so, I, well, solemn judgment is illegal. I can negate solemn warning. I can get solemn fucking <laughs> strike. Like let's go. Like mmm mmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, they continue to say, this card seems incredibly overpowered. Yes, it does. It's a generic spell of trap negation, with the only cost being mill two, which is more beneficial than the cost in most decks today. It really is, you know. Like uh, I was still, we were still going back and forth with that debate with, with uh, Graceful Charity. And while I do think Graceful Charity is a stronger card, probably in some decks' hands, you know, uh, definitely like if you got like PQ Fire drawn deep three, but you even out with resources, not including and uh, considering the outside plays, you're only considering the merit of its own card. That's why I'm saying as a draw card, which one's stronger? Pot of Greed, because you plus one. Graceful Charity, you even out. But you get one card deeper, you even out. So that's was my argument. But yeah, definitely that whole mill two. Mm, yeah. So learning this, PK Fire, like let's go. That also banishes it and any other copies. We already talked about that. Most generic spell negation uh, requires a discard cost, art greater, dark bribe, uh, magic jammer, etc. And all they usually do is destroy that card. I don't see reason not to run uh, this at two or three in most decks. Exactly. A discard cost either to the mill cost or something would make this card less broken. It would still be really great. Like, you'd still run fucking three. Like, shit. You know? Like,. <laughs> Like, I don't even care. I'll go ahead and fucking take the neg because I'm just going to get you good. Make it a nice rival to Ultimate Providence. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, if it was a counter trap and stuff like that, I'd give it up the potential for a monster negation for a less specific card, uh, discard cost, free mills, and banishing of the negated card. So, really, just a ridiculous card. Like, Dark Bride would be out of a job. Like, there is, even if it's, this card's not a counter trap, Dark Bride would be out of a fucking job. Like, holy shit. Well, Dark Bride has kind of been out of a job for a while, but, you know, there's some times where you're like, oh, maybe Dark Bride, you know? Uh, I think I'd probably play, um, what's that one where you, like, discard a spell, negate a spell, and they can't play it for the rest of the duel? I forgot the name of that card. Don't 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 tell me in the comment section. I don't care. I, I I know the card. I just forgot its name. But yeah, this card is ridiculously broken. Like overpowered. Like three staple. Hell yeah. So uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think about this about exorcism in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. I'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching.